How's it going, everybody? It is Prashan here and Tucker. How's it going, Tucker? Doing absolutely fantastic. As always, Prashan, it is great to be here, giving you guys the best decks to help you guys win the weekend, hit infinite, hopefully, before Tuesday, and play draft mode, it seems, right now. We got a, a weird kind of draft mode, and then also, I guess, your cards, so maybe not entirely draft mode. Oh, yeah, for sure. And you have a tournament today or later or it happened it depends on when this video comes out <laughs> yeah we are doing an Arishim anarchy tournament today with eight members from power on gaming um as well as eight members from the kingdom going head to head duking it out see who is the king of Arishim anarchy yeah and then uh i'll be participating in that tournament as well so what are your thoughts on Arishim since we have Arishim here I think Airship is a very fun card, and I like what it's added to the game. I feel like we're getting a huge endorphin boost. We're actually, it's a feels-good moment, and we felt that way, I'd say, for the first day. And then it became more of a Loki blob card, and then people were starting to get really upset. Yeah, I think everyone's figured out, like, Airship at the moment. It's either you're playing Airship or you're playing Dark Hawk to mm -hmm. beat him at the moment. So right now, it hasn't peaked up into the A tier. I think A tier right now we have Thena. Uh, that's still A tier. We have Tox Toxic Surfer. That is A tier. We have Destroy. That is A tier. And we have On Reveal. That is A tier as far as decks in Marvel Snap at the moment. But we do have a lot of cards that are creeping up the A tier ladder just because of Erisham himself. So not the deck itself, but these cards are definitely creeping up there, especially cards like Shang-Chi, um, Quinjet, Agent Coulson, Rogue, Blob, and Mockingbird. So definitely cards that fit into Arishim decks if you have to play Arishim. Yeah, they're, they're Arishim cards and they're counter cards. You know, Shang-Chi wasn't relevant for the past like month and a half. But now since there's a resurgence of Blob and Darkhawk, you got to have some ways to counter that. So that's Shang-Chi. But I'm actually really glad we do have more Rogue right now. I feel like that's actually a tech card people maybe have slept on for a while. I like seeing that Mystique's having more functionality, Rogue's having more functionality, opposed to just Mobius. Right. And I, I've been sneaking in some uh, Super Scroll as well. Mm. That works good as well when you're playing against these types of decks. Because honestly, you don't know what other ongoing cards they might have. So to take them over is, is pretty awesome. So we're going to go over some of the decks, top decks this week, and a deck for you guys to play for the weekend missions. So let's take a look at one of these decks right now. And of course, okay, we'll go over the Gilgazoo. That's going to be first. This is for the weekend missions. Of course, Ant-Man, Snow Guard, Squirrel Girl, Dazzler, Shadow King, Rogue, Kyra, Shayna, Shayna. Shanna, Shana, <laughs> Kassar, Blue Marvel, Gilgamesh, and Mockingbird. It's a pretty simple deck to get you what you need, right? It's a very simple deck to get you what you need. And like the one thing like Arishan might struggle with is having horizontal power. And with this, you're getting a lot of horizontal power. And then you have Shadow King as one of your tech cards to be able to dest not destroy, but you know, reduce blob back to zero. Um, it doesn't really do anything, of course, against like a Darkhawk and stuff, but like you have so much horizontal power, unless they draw a Killmonger and you don't have Kyra down, it looks really solid for you into the Arishan matchup. And honestly, a lot of matchups at the moment are kind of just more like single or two lane verticality. So this feels good into those. Yeah, I think the only problem, of course, you have Shadow King, but if they're playing Darkhawk and they're playing Mystique, then you, you might be in some trouble in that aspect, but... Overall, this is definitely a good deck to play for weekend missions, and luckily they buffed up <laughs> Gilgamesh, too, because mm -hmm. he was on the weaker side before. And then next, we have some Arishim Loki. Yeah, this is interesting. I like the rogue tech piece. I think there was also rogue in the other list, too, for any crazy ongoing things, but I think... You're putting Darkhawk literally in every single deck, it seems, right now, because Arishim is 50% of the games you're running into. So you just profit with Darkhawk, and like especially with something like the Loki list here, you're playing Loki if you don't draw your Blob or your Darkhawk, or if you're playing some different iterations of it, there's some other cards. you. But like it's a smart way to play Loki. Loki having extra energy, even without Quinjet, just feels ridiculous 
Um, so it's interesting to see maybe what would happen in the future if they tweak the Loki Arishim interaction at all. Oh yeah, for sure. And then Mockingbird has high value too because almost every single card you're playing isn't yes. yours, especially in the beginning of the game. But yeah, like Arishim Loki is pretty unique too because it's like, like if I don't have anything good, I just take whatever you have, and whatever you have is good. Especially if you're playing against another Arishim deck, right? Like they might not have those cards that they mm -hmm. originally started with. And you basically get rid of the junk you have and take the good stuff that they have. So it's definitely an advantage whenever you could get Loki out on the board and you have a bunch of cards. Yeah, it feels and like next, a tournament-ready deck already. We have another Arisham deck. <laughs> <laughs> another one. He's taking over Marvel Snap. So Same with the video one, today, guys. <laughs> This one I call the optimal local Loki Arisham deck because, of course, you have Red Guardian. You could turn off their Dark Hawks or their Mystiques uh, for some counterplay. We have Cersei, too, here. That way you could get rid of the junk that you might have had. Or you could just try to, like, hope that you get RNG on your side. Especially with, like, Agent Coulson, Red Guardian. You, have, you could potentially hit a Shang-Chi since he's a four cost. Of course, we have Loki, what we just talked about before. And then Eliath is here just to counter some of those Dark Hawk and Mystique plays as well. Um, and, of course, we have Blob because Blob is Blob. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it makes a lot of sense. It's like, a, it's like a good cards version of it. And I think the Nick Fury inclusion, I think, in both lists, having the extra energy to be able to play a six drop on potentially turn four if you have Quinjet or for sure on turn five just because you're running Arishim is a feels-good moment. Because maybe you don't have your blob in hand there, but then you get your blob from Nick Fury. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a good deck. I, I think this is the one I've been playing the most at the moment. I might have a video on it pretty soon. <laughs> hey, yo. And the next one we have here is Airsham Rocks. I made a video on this a few days ago. This is basically a Dark Hawk Airsham deck. <laughs> so basically it's combining both at the moment. Of course, you have Quark, Rock Slide, just to give them more. Uh, we have I put Super Scroll in here just in case you're playing against Mirrors. And then, of course, we have Shang-Chi, Iron Lad for the high roll. I think everything's pretty good for the most part for Iron Lad. And plus, it gives you some intel just in case you don't get one of the cards that you need next turn. And then, of course, we have the big trifecta here with Taskmaster copying either your Dark Hawk or your Blob. So pretty decent. And then, of course, we have Rogue and Mystique. And then you could copy with Taskmaster, the Rogue or Mystique. So many different ways to win with this deck. Yeah, this deck looks really solid. And I think, honestly, with a lot of Ravona going around too, the Super Scroll even gets a lot of value there since you're running Blob, Mystique, Taskmaster. So I can totally see where this really helps into even some of these counter matchups um, in order to kind of go over the top of them as well. Yeah, I might be playing this in the Airsham tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely a go-to. I definitely got a tons of wins off this deck. So, good deck. The next one, we got a little Hawk Tua for you. Some Dark Hawk. So, this is uh, tons of disruption here. So, you got White Widow, Black Widow, Red Guardian, uh, Grandmaster to do it all over again, spider Ham for some disruption, Iceman for some disruption, and, of course, you have the Rock package with Dark Hawk. So, Another solid list. You could get tons of wins off of this if you're playing against Airsham again. Um, even if you're playing another Dark Hawk mirror, you could get some wins off of this because Red Guardian could do some damage. Shung Chi can do some damage. You could play Shung Chi and Grandmaster on the final turn for those like spicy plays to take down two cards at once. So decent list. You could get some dubs off of this. And it, like the cool thing is too, like if you think of White Widow is you're limiting the board space for your opponent. And with Black Widow, you're limiting the draws they can get with Arishem. So if they can't draw their cards, they can't draw their combos, they just lose. Yeah. Very, very decent. And then next, we have another Dark Hawk deck. Another one. <laughs> yeah, the theme is either Dark Hawk or Arishem today. Um, I was, I've seen KM Best playing this a lot. I believe it is a Yo Woody list. This list is absolutely disgusting, especially into that matchup. Um, and even if you're not in that matchup, Juggernaut steals you games. Because if you're just winning a lane, they just can't play cards onto that lane. 
It just feels really solid. The Iron Man Mystique, of course, works with the Ravona. Um, so you could play both of those potentially on turn six. Um, or you could play Darkhawk on five, Mystique on six, and then Iron Man onto another lane. And it just, the flexibility is just endless with this list. It just it really feels good. Maybe the Angela buff, uh, nerf was crazy, but it honestly doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, I feel like Juggernaut's probably like the poor man's cannonball <laughs> for the most part, right? Like Juggernaut's always been there. Typically, he's like played with like Storm, right? Like you just play Storm and then you play Juggernaut to just bounce your stuff. But Juggernaut can have a lot of value when it comes to these games, especially early game, because you're just knocking something out of the way and you might disrupt whatever they have going on early on, and then you could play around it. So definitely, definitely a decent deck. So. Anything else you have for this week, Tucker? Um, like I was saying earlier, Shang Chi is everywhere. It's a great time to be running some of that armor, <laughs> maybe a little Kyra. Um, and then yeah, this guy right here is back with a vengeance. If you guys don't have him this week, you yeah, got two weeks. <laughs> yeah, Dark Hawk is pretty awesome. Um, Airship is a pretty good card, but I think it, it's already <laughs> worn out as welcome. Not even mm -hmm. a week. <laughs> like, it, it's wild to to see, like, everyone was playing it. I think it had, like, a 75%, like, play rate or something. Yep. Something crazy. And I, I did a poll on my YouTube channel and, and believe, like, it was, like, 72 or 75% of you guys said you guys were going to get this card almost out of 2,000 people. And then mm -hmm. to see, like, the play rate to be so high. So this is the type of card that, People want to see a Marvel Snap. They want to have fun. They love the randomness. But then again, you have those that just want to win, and they'll find any way possible. Yep. And we just showed you some of those decks. So, yeah. The fun police is out and about this week. So if you guys are trying to play Airship and complete those missions, best of luck to you. Maybe do them a little bit separately. Maybe Arishim, then a Quinjet one with Loki, and then just a Zoo Gilgamesh list. Or if you want to throw them all into one and just see what happens. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then, um, let's see here. Is your is the Arishim tournament going to be, if you miss it, is it going to be on your YouTube channel? We're, we're thinking about putting some clips of it on the YouTube. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. But right. it'll be on the Power On um, Twitch channel. Um, okay. And we should have the VOD saved on there as well. Perfect. So I'll put all the info down below, and I believe the tournament's already filled up, and it's already happened or happening or going to happen. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. Just follow us on Twitter and all the above. So till next time, be safe. Keep on snapping, and eh? peace. Snap.